Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to Sci-Fi Addicts. Or if you're new here, please don't forget to click on that big subscribe button to stay up to date and current with all the latest Star Trek goings on on YouTube. So today we're talking about Star Trek Strange New Worlds. We've had some new images come out for the sets, for the transporter room on the Enterprise under command of Captain Pike. Uh, we're going to take a look at those shots of the new transporter room set and compare them to uh, what we saw previously on Discovery and the Discovery uh, short treks, which showcased the Enterprise uh, transporter room, as well as you know comparing it to um, the original series and uh, and so forth, and um, see what we uh, like or maybe don't like about the uh, the sets and what we can expect from the upcoming season of Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. So let's get right into it. So firstly, I want to say that the sets are quite different to the ones we saw in the short treks. Uh, they've kept certain elements consistent, which I think is good. Um, and they've obviously changed other ones a little bit too. So for starters, it's a much bigger set than the one we saw in Star Trek Discovery Season 2. They've maintained the orange and black on the floor, but the background is quite different. They've actually gone for a bit more of a greenish tinge for the back wall of the transporter set, which when I first looked at it, uh, I thought, oh, that's that's a little bit different. But then on closer examination, when I looked at some of the old photos from the original series set, the actual back wall did have a slight green tinge to it. I always thought it was sort of a bit more of a goldy, yellowy, goldy kind of back wall uh, to the transporter room on the original series, but in fact, it's kind of got a little bit of green in there. So it looks like they've certainly gone to some efforts to keep that element consistent. I think it's great that they've maintained the uh, the orange and black look to the original uh, sets as they were in the 60s series. And the, a lot of the consoles and buttons and so forth on the transporter room uh, console were sort of, uh, had sort of black backing to them. They were sort of a large buttons. It wasn't touchscreen panels and so forth. And it does seem that like they've gone for that, uh, that same kind of look in this, uh, in this set for Strange New Worlds. I'm fairly certain that the transporter room set that they used on uh, Discovery Season 2 for the Enterprise uh, was kind of a bit of a redress of the, uh, of the Discovery transporter room. Rather than building an entire new set, they switched out certain elements to make it uh, appear quite different. Obviously with that set we had the iconic orange and, uh, and black elements. There was quite large units in the ceiling for the, uh, for the Discovery set, and obviously blue panels for the back wall of the uh, transporter, and a very basic control console. For our, um, our set for uh, Strange New Worlds, uh, it looks like we've got uh, much, much bigger and larger uh, black consoles. The look for the units in the ceiling on the new sets look quite similar to the ones we saw in, uh, in Star Trek Discovery Season 2. They're quite a large, uh, white and black ceiling units for the transporter room there. So it seems like they've carried them over. The look of the consoles and the buttons on the consoles and so forth for the transporter room, they look a lot more consistent with original series than what we saw on Discovery. The buttons are large, the big black consoles, they're sort of glowing uh, what appears to be orange, and a lot of the button buttons and so forth in the, in the original series were primarily kind of oranges and yellows and greens and so forth on the consoles and they were large big kind of you know jelly bean looking buttons so um, they've sort of kept that element a little bit more consistent with our control interface uh, if we look here and if we look at this image here on the uh, extreme right of the shot, we can see the sliders, the actual transporter sliders that they slide up and down to uh, activate the, uh, the transporter. These are quite big, big buttons. And a lot of the, the wall colorings and so forth, it looks like we're going for a very much kind of gray and white motif here in terms of our wall color on the transporter room. In the original series transporter room, I'm pretty sure the walls were like a lavender, <laughs> a lavender color of all shades in the transporter room, but they've gone for the white and the gray, which I think looks good. In some ways, the color scheme almost looks a little bit uh, like what I remember maybe it being color palette wise for the original Enterprise in the uh, motion picture. I think they tended to go for sort of, uh, you know, muted sort of whites and grays and so forth in the 
uh, corridors, they got rid of the orange and so forth, and they went for a bit more kind of, you know, monochromatic kind of look. I, I think uh, they've done a, a good job on the set here to make it look sufficiently retro enough to be in keeping with uh, something that's come before, but we've sort of retained some of those historical elements from the original series, the blacks and the oranges and so forth. Uh, it almost kind of feels a little bit to me like they've mixed up, they've sort of taken uh, elements from not only the original series TV show, but they've obviously taken elements from the sets that they used on maybe even the motion picture or, you know, Wrath of Khan and so forth, those enterprises as well. And kind of like, you know, so I like this bit, I've liked that bit, well, let's mix them all up together and kind of make something that's kind of the best of everything all the different sets. So I think this is looking pretty cool. Another visual element that has come out recently about Star Trek Strange New Worlds is the uh, commemorative plaque that um, we see uh, positioned in the in the back of the bridge and it's the uh, commemorative plaque of the USS Enterprise. It says Starship Class Constitution, San Francisco, California, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Good to see. I think that they've, um, they've kept the no one uh, reference there uh, that was established in Next Generation uh, rather than the No Man. Uh, obviously, uh, we're trying to be a bit more um, uh, politically correct in everything, which is, you know, I think great. I, I, I always thought that that was a good adjustment they made uh, in Next Generation to change No Man to No One, and they've obviously kept this consistent uh, for the plaque here um, on the bridge of the Enterprise, even though the, the, back in the original series the, uh, the slogan or the, uh, you know, the uh, mantra was uh, no man. So that's that's good to see. Now looking at the uh, the wall that this is um, attached to, obviously we've got the, uh, the whites, the light greys, and a kind of a very sort of almost carbon fiber-like uh, patterning going on on the uh, lower part of this image. And that's sort of consistent with um, the uh, some of the, uh, the color schemes we saw in the transporter room image. It definitely seems like they're going for kind of like greys and whites uh, for our set. So I'm sort of getting a sense that our bridge set for Strange New Worlds is probably going to resemble maybe the motion picture, uh, Star Trek The Motion Picture set more than it's going to resemble the, uh, the set from the 1960s TV series. Even though we've kind of kept some of that orange consistent in the transporter room, it seems like walls and so forth, we've got the greys and the whites uh, and the dark greys and this sort of, you know, this more sort of uh, carbon fiber-like uh, print going on, which I think, uh, it seems like it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think I think too much orange is probably. I think it's nice to have a little bit of orange for a splash of color. Uh, any you know interior design will probably tell you you can't just have monochrome everything. Even though that seems to be the case in a lot of uh, interior design these days, everything seems to be whites and monochromes and you know matte blacks and so forth. But you've got to have a splash of color, and that's what the orange, the burnt orange, <laughs> is for, I suppose. So it's it's good to see that they're keeping a little bit of that orange from the original Enterprise. But uh, but also freshening it up with a bit of a you know that uh, that white and grey appearance. Now we don't have long before the um, the San Diego Comic Con at Home event uh, happens, which is later on this week on the twenty third of July. Hopefully we're going to be getting some um, yeah, big news dropping at this uh, event. I think last year's one from memory was a little bit underwhelming, but uh, hopefully they've learned their lessons from last year. Uh, and hopefully they'll give us some uh, some good goss on uh, the upcoming Star Trek series. I'm hoping for a Prodigy trailer, and I'm hoping for, if not a, a Strange New Worlds trailer now that they've uh, finished filming, uh, hopefully, even if it's just some images, some promotional images uh, for the show, even if it's in the form of, you know, give us a look at the costumes, give us a look at the set maybe for the bridge, that'd be great. Uh, even if we don't get a trailer, let's let's have some, um, some good shots to see what this uh, show will look like. But we will soon see. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the transporter room set for the, uh, the, the uh, Enterprise under the command of Captain Pike in Star Trek Strange New Worlds. As always, guys, please don't forget to, uh, to like, to comment, uh, share this video, uh, click on that big subscribe button, and also check out my merchandise page. Uh, it really helps support the channel, where you can pick up some really cool t-shirts, hoodies, caps, mugs, all that sort of thing, uh, Star Trek themed and, and all that sort of thing for, uh, for a great bargain price to help support the channel. Uh, and I will catch you guys very soon uh, for my next review. Cheers.